My name is Sarah Stanley. I'm a 25 year old artist. I go to Santa Rosa Junior College full time. And I major in psychology. And I sell my artwork full time. And I also work for a company called Side by Side, which works with the disabled adults. In 2012, I went to San Francisco Art Institute for a pre-college program where I learned how to paint in two to three months and did charcoal drawings. And so when I went there, was I good? No. <laughs> but <laughs> did I kind of know stuff? Meh, a little bit. And because it was just uh, me drawing for hours and hours and hours every day because it was my coping thing. I did seven paintings in two or three months. And everyone else did like four. <laughs> and I'm just trying to look like, why won't it click? And so um, I finally kind of started doing it the way I felt was right. Even though if other more professional artists saw the way I painted, they would hate it. <laughs> they would absolutely hate how I do it. Because um, I use acrylic paint and I just water it down with a paintbrush and like layer it like it's watercolor. So it takes forever and I destroy paintbrushes doing it that way. I felt like that was the kind of final click to go and like, look what you can do if you had the materials and you had the time. Psychology is something I've always come back to. Oddly enough, uh, I always was thinking I was going to major in art. Mm -hmm. And oddly, <laughs> and it just never stuck. I did a charcoal piece about a year and a half ago, and it's a guy who like no face no nothing but you just see he's like on his like back and he's like writhing in pain and I was in a very very deep depressive episode and I brought it to a show and multiple people were just coming and go like wow like I don't know what's going on but it's making me feel things that's what I want for commissions I take me out of it a little bit and try to put them in it as much as they can and I'm just kind of the vessel. I'm trying to give them back something that they really really want to show that they don't know how. Because I may not know said pet or said friend or family that means the world to them but if they tell me a story I can be like oh I can kind of picture this let me put the same emotion back into it. I have to take breaks between commissions or like halfway through a commission, I'm like, I have to draw something that means something to me because I'm losing it and then kind of get that out and then, you know, go back to it. And it's like kind of a reset button. It's refreshing. I definitely think shows help people remember you and want to come back. So having, doing the show, being face-to-face, -face, being able to describe to someone in person, like, hey, this is how much this piece means to me, this is where it came from, and make that genuine connection makes it so people come back or go, like, I really want to go support you. Like, I may not be able to buy anything, but I want to go follow you and watch your journey. It's hard, but it's so worth it. Because... Okay, sure, you didn't you may not have sold a lot of the things, but you met great people. That makes it so worth it to me. And you know, spending hours and hours and hours by yourself painting can get kind of lonely and be able to go to a show and be like, wow, like people love this. It's a hundred percent made all those hours worth it all the frustration all everything it's just like this is this is it this is great i love it